Okie dokie, uh, ladies, gents, girls, boys and others. What you are going to need is a calculator. We are using calculators today because we're going to be doing some calculations. And what we're going to be looking at today is how we can calculate the volume of gases. Um, this one is just uh, normal lesson content, uh, so it doesn't require any specific, um, like making to a leaflet or a poster or anything like that. This is just going to be sort of standard lesson notes. However, if you are feeling creative, you are very welcome to make it all pretty full and such. That's our title for today. Uh, yellow box is a is something that you need to write down. So in our last lesson, we saw two little practicals where you can actually determine the volume of specific gases, for example, nitrogen and oxygen within a sample. And I just kind of left it as, and yeah, the scientists kind of worked that out. Now I'm going to show you how they work it out. OK, so equation at the top there. So number of moles of gas. I'll explain what that moles thing means in a second equals volume divided by 24. Now there's two options here. You can either have it as volume divided by 24 or volume divided by 24,000. And one or two people have already started asking, what does the DM mean? So CM is centimeter cubed. DM is a decimeter cubed. Okay, so one centimeter cubed doesn't stand for direct message. So one decimeter cubed is a thousand centimeter cubed. Okay, so to get from decimeter cubed to centimeter cubed, so get to from there to there, be times by a thousand, going from there to there, you would divide by a thousand. In a question, they'll either give you the units as decimeter cubed or centimeter cubed. So one of the first things we'll have to do with these is figure out what the units are. And then if it's in centimeter cubed, you divide it by 24,000. If it's in decimeter cubed, you just divide it by 24. So if we were to arrange this as a formula triangle, what would it be? Yeah, some answers coming in. Someone suggested uh, V for volume at the top, moles and 24 at the bottom. Uh, N is just the short way of saying moles, which will explain what moles means in a second. If you put M, that usually means mass, so they use N to represent moles. So please do just remember that one decimeter cubed is a thousand centimeter cubed. And um, from a sort of linguistic point of view, centi means a hundred, deci means 10. So the centi should always be bigger than the deci. Is it always 24 or 24,000? Yes. Um, for reasons that I'm not going to go into too much, um, 24 decimeter cubed is called the molar gas volume. Um, if you are a smarty pant um, or a clever clog, you might want to look into that a little bit more. But for now, I am just going to leave that as that. OK, so I've thrown a random word at you here, number of moles. And we don't actually talk about moles until our next unit in chemistry, which is moles and masses. So what I'm going to do is give you a very, very quick, brief description of what a mole is. It is a concept that people struggle with a lot, um, but I just want you to think of it as just a generic word. OK, so what is the mole? And yeah, there's a cheeky little mole there at the top. And I definitely don't mean like that. It is not a little mammal that lives underground. OK, in chemistry, the numbers that we potentially could work with, like particles and grams and things like that, they are so ridiculously small um, that you'd have to use like weird times 10 to the ridiculous number. Um, is it similar to a Coulomb of energy? It's a similar idea, yeah, that it's it's just a weird number. So we just use mole to describe a specific number of chemicals, like Coulomb's a specific number of energy, isn't it, or something like that. 
So instead of giving either really, 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 really tiny numbers for mass or really, 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 really big numbers for a number of particles, we use the word mole to describe a quantity instead. Just like um, in describing words, you could say two shoes is a pair of shoes, okay? Pair, spell like that, is just a describing word for being in two. In a similar way that if you have a dozen red roses, dozen is just a describing word for 12 roses. Uh, some questions coming in. Uh, could I say a mole is a generic quantitative term? I think that is a gorgeous way of putting it, yes. So a mole is a large quantity of atoms and molecules. Yes, perfect. So can a mole be used to describe any number of atoms? No, it is a specific number, and I will show you what that number is, um, but you don't want to worry about that number too much. So here we go. Uh, pair is the describing word for two. Dozen is just a describing word for 12. Um, for a mole, the number is ridiculous. Uh, the number is that. So one mole of any chemical has 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Um, so instead of saying that every single time in a calculation, we just say that is one mole. So can you see why that we'd maybe say one mole instead of saying that each time? It's, it's crazy. Now this number has got a special name. Um, we are not going to talk about that right now. You do need to know this number, but we'll talk about this another time. We're just going to say that's a mole for now. Okay. I don't want to go too much into moles because we're going to cover them properly another time. But for now, just one mole is a describing number for a whole group of chemicals. Okay. Right. Let's have a practice of these calculations then. So I've got the equation there at the top again, just in case you wanted it. A party balloon has an approximate volume of 12,500 centimeter cubed. Okay, so first step, it's using centimeter cubed. So which one are we going to use? The one on the left or the one on the right? Okay, so because centimetre cubed is there, we're going to use this one here. So we're going to divide whatever the volume is by 24,000. So we're going to have the 12,500 divided by the 24,000. Type that into a calculator. Oosh. Now, it is completely normal for moles to be really, really weird decimals, okay? So number of moles equals 0 0.5208, blah, blah, blah. that's very, very normal, okay? So please don't be worried when you're calculating moles if you do get really weird decimal places. That is normal and that is fine. To help us deal with that though, what we try to do is convert that into a certain number of significant figures. And the general rule of thumb is do it to three significant figures. Okay, if it doesn't specify in the question, um, just go for three. But then what you can actually do is look back at the questions and see how many significant figures this has gone to. So that's the numbers that aren't zero. Um, one, two, three numbers and those two are zero. So that is actually already reported to three significant figures. So there we go. 0 0.521 to three significant figures. That eight there I've, has rounded that zero up to a one. The answer um, would not be in centimeter cubed. Uh, the unit for moles is M O L. Okay, unit for moles is always going to be mole, M O L. But you can just write moles after it if you like. Is that a capital L? No, that's a little l, a lowercase l. And capital L would represent uh, litres. Are moles going to be on your exams? 
uh, they are in the real GCSE exams, yes. But this is a very, very brief introduction to moles. In fact, it's not even meant to be an introduction to moles. We're going to do moles properly another time. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a pre warning there. What is the N for? Um, the N is when we represent it in the equation. So, number of moles, volume, 24. N is just like the short, lazy symbol for it in a formula triangle. So, volume would be uh, in, in this case, decimeter cubed unit of moles there is MOL. Do we feel confident to have a go at a few of these? Some of you are like, yes, let us lose on some questions. Shut up, miss. Okay, cool. Let's have a go at it. There you go. Okay, have a go at those questions. Someone's just asked, does it matter what gas it is? For this question, no. Um, the clever clogs are going to get sent some extra ones where it will matter what the gas is because you've got to build in something called relative formula mass. Um, but the clever clogs are going to have to figure that out by themselves. Mwahahaha. Okay, let's have a look through these questions then. So we've got 96 decimeter cubed of helium. Let's work out the number of moles. So, because we're dealing with decimeter cubed, we divide the first one by 24. 96 divided by 24 equals 4. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Give it a great big tick. We can green pen, you can blue pen if you want. If you're, if you're feeling nostalgic for the green pen and the blue pen, feel free. The next one. Uh, again, it's with decimeter cubed, so we're going to divide it just by the 24. So 0 0.06 divided by 24 is 0 0.0025 mol. Uh, with these, I have put the units at the end. Um, it'd be worth doing that because that can catch quite a few people out. You are, of course, very welcome to express that in standard form if you're feeling a bit lardy da so you could write this as uh, 2.5 times 10 to the 1 2 3 so times 10 to the minus 3 question why don't you do 93 cubed divided by 24 cubed um, because it's just the units that are cubed it's not the actual number so if that three there was here then yeah I would definitely have to do 96 cubed um, but the cubed is on the units in that case I, I don't have to cube it as well thank you for that that was a nice question uh, next one, 48,000 centimetre cubes of hydrogen. Now it's here a centimetre cubed instead of decimeter. So we're going to have to divide it by the 24,000. So 48,000 divided by 24,000 equals 2 mole. And then the last one, we're in centimetre cubed again. So we're going to divide by 24,000 again. So uh, 1920 divided by 24,000, 0.08 mole. Okay, those are the types of questions that you can get on uh, calculating moles of gases or volumes of gases. Now, there is a higher level version of this. Um, we're not going to focus on that right now. We're going to look at that another time. But last lesson, we said that the scientists calculated the volumes of gases. And this is how part of how they did that. Okay, they used the idea of moles and volumes and the 24 decimeter cubed or 24,000 centimeter cubed to help them calculate that. Those are some extra questions that I would like you to have a go at. That is going to be your homework for next time to get those completed. However, to make this a little bit easier for you, um, I'm going to pop that up as a quiz on Edmodo where you just simply type in your answer of what you think it is. Okay, I will put that as a screenshot on Edmodo 
and then follow it up with a quiz. People are saying, can I just write it down? Yeah, that's fine. Can I put it on Sims, please? Yes, I will do that. And you'll have until uh, next Tuesday to do that. So you have got uh, plenty of time. Due on Tuesday the uh, 5th, Tuesday the 5th. Um, you can calculate it in whatever format you want, um, but then just type your answers into the quiz on Edmodo. Um, in these questions, all that they've done is they've just given you way more detail than what you need. So with these ones, it's doing the same calculation, just the other way around. So we've got number of number of moles, volume, 24 decimeter cubed. And then in this one, We've got 0 0.5 mole of magnesium, so we've got 0 0.5 mole of that. How much of that is produced? Well, there's one of that making one of that. So that means that there's 0 0.5 mole of that one. So then what would be the volume of this one equals question mark and it wanted it in centimeter cube so you've got your moles there so we've got that bit I'm trying to work out that bit so let's do that number of moles times by the 24 if it's in decimeter cubed or the 24,000 if it's in centimeter cubed and that will get you your volume okay these questions are only trickier just because they've got a little bit more words to them. You do we need to write the answer down, uh, write the question down, or just the answer? It is completely up to you. I'm happy for you to do it with however you like. Um, the quiz to check if you've got these right is going to be on Edmodo, so you just type in the answer that you get to that. Um, it's up to you whether or not you want to write it down. Bear in mind, you are going to use, I'd like to think you're going to use these notes to revise from at some point, so it's up to you. Okie dokie, I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea then, everyone. I hope you're going to have a lovely day. Weather's looking a bit nicer today. So if you've got a garden, make sure you go get yourself some vitamin D out in the garden at some point, okay? Uh, so off you go. You're very welcome to make your way off. Have a lovely day. Be good. Get in touch if you need anything.